Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Ruby Basa here. So for today's video, I'm going to cook a tom yum kun. It's an Asian cooking, especially specifically Thailandic cooking. It's Thailandic cooking, and it consists of these ingredients. We have here garlic. So I put now garlic. I love when you do like this. Take walk the wood one. And we have here onion. I have it here lemongrass and ginger as well. Mix it well. So, and cherry tomatoes, galingale, red and uh, green uh, chili, kefir leaf, which is the leaf of a uh, green lem uh, lime, basilicum, or basil as we call it in English, and coriander. This is on the last fish soy sauce and some uh, mushrooms and the main ingredient is this big shrimps and crabs this is tom, tom yum kun the, you also can uh, you also can make a tom yum hook as they call it from the chicken or for fish it's like a Sinigang version in Filipino. Just more uh, spices and more uh, aromatic uh, kind of soup. Spicy soup. So while waiting for the cameralization, oh, yeah. I have my love. Mm -hmm. for, I, while waiting for the cameralization, I have here boiled some water that for the soup later, it's be ready. Thank you for the basilicum. Ah, oh, welcome. <laughs> you took it uh, from my garden. can put the tomatoes and basically all the ingredients the galingale is kefir and these two coriander and the basil you can garnish on the last If you like it too spicy, you can put three chili. If you like it like a just pecan, not so spicy, one red and one uh, green. Do a good job. The 
let's put a fish sauce like uh, one spoon like this not a lot because this is very strong There you go. You need to have the you make you need to well have the consistency of the tomato that it's be soggy already, soft and juicy. You need to juice out the juice from the tomatoes before you put in the the uh, hot water. Let's put pepper and salt. Not a lot because you put the the fish sauce alone is too spicy, too salty. So you need to be moderate on the salt until you get your exact taste of the salt, not too much. Last but not the least, and then we put coconut milk. But this is only optional. If you want it like creamy, you can put on it, or also without it, it's okay. But I like it with coconut milk. There you have it, this consistency, the cam caramelization of all the ingredients. And you can start, I think, putting in all this here. Oh. This alone has also its own water. Look at that. It has water already. So let's add our hot water, but not too much. Maybe one cup or two cups. that cooking the crabs and the shrimps on fire it's not must be more than five minutes after five minutes you must turn it off otherwise your 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 shrimp will be dry 
and hard. So I put the mushroom now as well. This is very fast cooking. You make everything and that and that's it. In Thailand, you can eat it right in the in the street uh, vendor or street uh, like Karinderia in the sidewalk. They make it in front of you for less than 10 minutes. You already have this uh, dish on your plate. They're amazing. That's where also I got to learn to cook this one. I was watching the, the woman that's cooking for us. How she make it. And here you have it. This will be on the last part. In making fish or seafoods, I all the time use coriander because it's get rid of the fish fishy smell of the shrimps of the fish. Hi dear Marina, it's okay. No problem. It's okay, yeah, it's I'm doing my cooking show. Late. <laughs> mix the mix this a little bit oh, let's open this and pour it in I clean that later My problem is my pot so so small from this uh, I have too much and my pot is not enough it's too small and I cannot mix it so well I need a big wok like in Thailand they have this huge wok that they make like this like this very easy let's simmer that for two more minutes in high fire okay and let's uh, squeeze some lemon we put lemon in the last oh don't forget we need to put uh, at least one spoon of sugar the sugar is to balance the the sourness of the of the soup so it will be sour and a touch of sweetness on the soup I make some sour thing like if I make a if I put tomato paste on the food or pasta I see to it I have to balance it with sugar otherwise it's so I don't like too much sour 
So I need two lemon, but I'm not going to put it uh, for one uh, time. I need to put a uh, half of it and then taste. And then if I like the enough the sourness. Or oh, I need to put more. Don't put it there. You need to put it moderately. Otherwise, you cannot control the sourness later. You cannot take it back. So if you want to be in control of the sourness of your cooking, you need to put in a moderate manner. There you go. Let's put the green stuff inside. Let's add aroma to the soup and taste. Salt is not enough, so I need to put more salt. Taste. Mm. It's good. Now let's put this on. Not put a lot. So I need to mix again.
There you have it. It's the consistency that I like. There you go. Let's try one three here. Mm. It's really young. Ah, yeah. I even overcook it. A little bit. If you taste the dryness on the meat and not the crispiness of the meat, then it's overcooked. Okay. Need to be tender and like crispy texture on your mouth. Doesn't make sense what I said when I go tender and uh, crispy. I mean, when you bite, it's crispy, but it's very tender. I know. I don't know. I cannot explain how you how to explain to you when you eat the shrimp in a when it's cooked in the right way, in the right manner. But it's the way <laughs> like that how I feel when every time I eat with a professional chef. So, the crab as well. My love, you want to eat? I'm full. I eat cake, I eat everything. I see it looks wonderful. You eat? I try. Wow. Getting gay, everything. There you have it.